What's up guys, my name is Changer Danger. I have been getting asked like crazy to make a bubble ring tutorial video. Every single time I put a video that has a bubble ring in it, please make a tutorial, how do I do it? But the problem is, I've already made a tutorial. So I definitely have made one on TikTok. I made a bunch on YouTube a long time ago. So it's been there, but I figured, you know what? Everyone keeps asking. I'm just going to make another one. And then all the people that are asking now will get to see it. And then in two or three months, I'll be getting asked again and I'll have to make another video, but that's okay. So if you guys are coming from TikTok, go down and put the ring emoji so that I know that you guys came from TikTok to learn how to do the bubble rings. And if you actually saw this video on TikTok, that's awesome because my main account can't post for an entire week as of yesterday. And so if you're seeing this early, like in the first week of it being posted, that means that you found the video that I posted from the other account, Shanger Uwu. I put it uh, right here so you guys can see it. Literally the only video on it is this video right now. So I'm super grateful that you guys came to watch. If you guys are new to the channel, go down and hit subscribe, ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video. I think that's it. Let's go learn how to do bubble rings. I'm going to walk you guys through the whole thing, show you a bunch of different clips of bubble rings happening so that I can try to explain it in every way possible and then hopefully by the end of the video you will be able to go out into your pool or your friend's pool or your bathtub or maybe you can flood your basement or just put your head into the sink or go find a puddle no <laughs> those places won't work it has to be a pretty deep pool so definitely a swimming pool is easiest the ocean might be your best bet uh, but you got to be able to dive first so make sure that you know how to dive and so yeah let's get into the water okay so we're getting right into it with the girls showing off some of their bubble rings there goes Brittany. she hit it first accidentally broke it with her snorkel and then comes maddie she's coming in second she gets the rings almost every single time just learned how to dive so it's totally crazy and then monet is super good at blowing rings too i think i taught her originally a while ago and so they got that three in a row combo so cool and then they're gonna go down try to do it again because they weren't even doing it on purpose the first time they were just down there blowing rings and happened to get all three of them in one clip so the girl said okay let's go down go down let's get a clip all together so they're gonna try to do good try to do it again so something to notice here they stay perfectly still when they're down so maddie was completely still had a good lip shape she got it first try and then one more thing to notice here is that see how Brittany is trying to blow the ring and all the other bu bubbles are there but you'll notice that it gets disturbed by the other bubbles that are going up just like mine did right here so see the the bubbles going up and it messes up that first ring and then the second one gets messed up so you want to be careful to not blow a bad ring behind a good ring because it's gonna get messed up so there they go Brittany and maddie got hers right away uh monet wasn't able to hit it this time and you can see those rings slowly going up but one thing that happened this time is that they had some turbulent water so the rings didn't quite make it to the surface and i know we're talking about a lot of the things that are beyond the first part of blowing the bubble ring um, but we're gonna get into those very specific details soon, so don't worry. Um, so here Monet got this perfect one and I knew that this would be a really nice shot. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to get Monet on her way up. And then our friend came in and started taking photos. And of course that takes priority. So she faced him and then he got some really sweet photos. And you can see she can swim up through it and it doesn't really get disturbed until the feet are kicking it. And you really get a good example of Brittany with this one where she goes through it and it does not get disturbed until she's all the way through. So if you guys are trying to take bubble ring photos, just know that you can always go up, but you cannot go down. So now I'm trying to get two in a row to see if they can get that awesome interaction and it doesn't happen. I'm getting so frustrated as you can see by my hand signals towards those rings. Uh, they didn't do what I wanted them to do, which is what's gonna happen here where the two of them hit and then they get this really crazy single ring and then it pops off to another ring. And so now a lot of the air has gone into the ring that's below that you can't see on frame right now. So that top ring has a little bit less air. It's a little bit smaller, but it managed to regain shape and form another perfect ring somehow, even though just a second ago is wobbling all crazy. So that's just some of the crazy tricks that you can do with these rings. Once you start to get to be able to do two or three of them in a row, really, really exciting stuff to be able to do two in a row. So I think now we're gonna get into learning how to specifically do 
the ring. So Brittany's gonna go down and I'm gonna get up close and personal showing off what her face looks like when she's doing it. So what Brittany's gonna do is she's gonna go down and she's trying, gonna try to get perfectly still. And she also doesn't wanna be blowing the ring in the column of water that she dove down in because all of that water has been turned around. It's turbulent there. So you can see she's perfectly still here and then just lets out a little and then look at her lips and her tongue. Her tongue is out and then gets pulled in when she blows the ring. And that just helps it form. I'm not sure if uh, if it works better that way or not, whether or not you use your tongue like that. But I've always found that it's nice to use the tongue. The girls love it when, when they use their tongue. Um, and so I think that it's just best to use the tongue there. So you just kind of pull the tongue back through the lips as you're making that sound. So you can see she's got her tongue out, just makes that poof, kind of like you're saying plow or plop or something like that. So she makes that plop and then it comes out super clean. She's just waiting down there for Brittany to come. They're trying to do this photo or video or whatever where they're holding hands through the ring, but as they go up, they're not quite tight enough together. And then the head hits right there and then pops the ring. So you wanna be careful to be really close together so you're not popping your ring. So they're, they're gonna go down and try to do it again. Pay close attention to the lips and the tongue as they go down to do it. So before you go down, you wanna think about getting a big, big breath and then you very smooth, calm dive down. You don't want to disturb the water because remember the more disturbed the water is, the harder it is for the ring to get up there. They're gonna go down with a big, big breath and then turn around very carefully so you can can see she's breathing 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 and then finally takes her last breath and then dives down swimming down super calm super still if you don't have long fins uh you may want to like grab a weight or something and use that weight brick to go down so that you're not disturbing the water um, and then you can see that tongue sticks out and then gets pulled in as she makes that sound so she's just plopping that air out is able to get that nice ring and then she's waiting for Brittany to come down and grabs on and then i told them to get closer together this time and they're still kind of far apart and then they're making their way up trying to find that ring and then spreading out just a little bit too much and then they still pop the bubble unfortunately they did their best but it didn't quite work out that time so now i'm going down i'm trying to hit as many as i can in a row so I'm, I've got my tongue out very carefully moving the air around inside of my lips so that it's all in the right spot. You kind of want it to be in your lower lip, but not in your upper lip is always what I'm careful about. And then I make sure my mask is really high so that it's like pushing into my nose basically. And you can see I messed up that second one. So I'm just gonna move away to a different spot so that I have a, a new clean column of water because as you can see, the bubbles didn't make it all the way to the top before they were all dispersed. And then I had another bad one come out so I'm like, frick, okay, I got to find another spot and then try to get multiple clean rings. So I'm trying to do that combo and it's just not working. I'm getting a little bit upset by that. As you can see, I let the rings know that they were not making me happy. Never mind. <laughs> and <laughs> so I get a little bit upset out there, but then I finally got the three ring combo. It was actually a couple more tries after that. I was super excited. And you can see the one hits the other and then they're all hitting and then they all combine into this huge ring that's just whipping all over the place. And it got a little messy up there. It didn't do anything crazy, but it was at least cool to get the three rings in a row for a second before they got all over each other. So now Brittany's going down. She's trying to get a multi-ring combo. And I don't know if she's ever done it before. She may have done it off camera or something, but I have not captured her getting a multi-ring combo. So you can see she blows her rings and then moves to a different spot, trying to get to a fresh column of water. And sure enough, she gets that two ring combo, swats away the bad, the bad bubbles below. And then she had that infinity loop for a second there. You guys saw that on her TikTok. That was so Two cool to see her get that multi-ring combo. So she's down there again, getting another multi-ring combo. I think she goes for two or three this time. Oh, just kidding, it's me. I couldn't see it because of the way that it's framed, but they went away from each other, which was not what I wanted. So I was like, come on, why do the rings not go together? And this has never happened to me except for very recently. So I don't know what's going on, that the rings are getting pushed away from each other, but it's very, very upsetting. And because I like it when they get on top of each other, and then make those crazy combos. So now she got clean two rings back to back. She's got a little bit of bubbles there from the first bad ring, uh, but then it still manages to make it all the way to the top before it pops. So that's super cool. Good job, Brittany.
Okay guys, that's it. That's all of our bubble ring content for today. If you learned something, drop a big thumbs up on this video. It helps me a lot. I need all the support I can get right now with my TikTok getting banned for a week and I don't know when it's gonna happen again because they do not like my content right now even though I try so hard to make it family friendly. And I know you guys know that it's family friendly but for some reason their algorithm just does not like me right now. So I'm trying to figure that out. But until then guys, I really, really need your support here and make sure that you're following me here so that you don't miss out on the videos that I post because you might there might be a time where you don't get to see them on TikTok anymore if they just flat out say you're not welcome here. So I don't know if that can happen. So make sure that you're subscribed here. Ring the bell to get post notifications every single time I post a new video. And I really appreciate your guys' support and I hope to see you guys next time. And then make sure you're following that other TikTok account that I made so you guys can keep in touch there too. So thanks again, guys. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.